But I almost started to pee myself. That's how bad I had to be. We can't say that, Carly. Why? He doesn't watch this. Basically, there were some people that actually showed up at our reception that were not that were not invited. Actually, <laughs> I'm actually quite triggered right now. <laughs> this is your deliverer. It's your problem, so you have to fix it. Welcome back, Kuna Rasa fam. fam. I almost forgot to say my part. <laughs> you could have just seen my face for a second. I was just like, <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Okay, today we're going to be talking about the things about our wedding that we regret. Not that we regret anything. Things about our wedding that if we could change now, we would. If we would do, if, ah, blah, blah, blah. things that, things about our wedding that if we could do differently now, we would. Or you could say like things that we would advise other people not to do. Period. There's nothing really that like you can regret because it worked out the way that it worked out. It was right. great. But there's things that you can definitely advise someone else just don't do be this or don't this. do this yeah. yeah be aware of that so yeah like, that's like this skr, skr. so skr, skr. i think one of the biggest things Sorry. that we can agree on is the whole flower situation oh my gosh yeah the flower tough. situation became way more stressful than it needed to be. So what we opted to do was to make our flower arrangement ourselves. Now, if you don't know, flowers are so expensive. Like to get a florist, to get flowers in bulk, all that stuff is so, so expensive. So we were like, okay, to wait for us to kind of cut down on prices, let's cut down on the florist price. Let's just go on this website called Flowers. I think it's like 100. 1-800-flowers.com or mm -hmm. something like that and just get flowers sent to us and we can make our own bouquets right so what i should have done i think was make the bouquets myself i think that's kind of what made it a little bit stressful because there was i tried to do that the day of our rehearsal dinner i think it's a lot on your bridesmaids too to do that right and at first i was like oh this is gonna be a cute idea but then i realized not all of my bridesmaids were like kind of interested in that kind of scene so it just became like some people were doing it and some people were not doing it and then it's just like oh dang one person's doing all the work, this person's doing all the work, this person's not doing anything. And it, it just was too much. I honestly would have rather have florists there. I think I would have gotten better advice about flowers to choose from also. I love all the flowers that I chose, but there's just one flower that I didn't know wasn't like a real flower. It's actually like a spray painted flower and I didn't realize until I got it in the mail. Which one was that? It's actually over there. You see that? orange thing that's not a real flower oh i never knew that. that and it's just like yeah small things like that that are just like you well, can you're, completely avoid you're forgetting the biggest thing mm. the biggest thing was that one of the flowers came and it was crushed oh my word so yeah. i remember that day like it got to my parents and house you couldn't even get new ones yeah and i opened the box and they were flattened completely like the box itself was like caved crushed. in mm -hmm. and my dad was like so sweet that day he was like trying so hard to fix every yeah. single thing and like we did the best we could but we couldn't even end up using them yeah but thankfully, that sucked because i mean it sucks that we missed you think out, about like you try to like cut down on prices and then like another thing is that website actually was almost not going to even give us a refund because they were kind of saying like oh well it's not on us the deliverer like they're the ones that messed it up it's not our fault and i was yeah. like are you are you like have any type of sympathy i was going back and forth with them through email and i'm just like this is not fair like you don't get her mad don't like you <laughs> we spent so much money on these flowers not as much as we would have spent of course if we got a florist but still it's a lot like we're getting married young yeah i was going back and forth with them on the phone i was like are you serious like we're gonna play that game and i was like giving all the receipts i was like nope this is your deliverer Deliver, it's your problem so you have to fix it and then Oof. they gave me uh, if you talked to me like that i'd have been scared right <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. I was that sarcastic. I was like, ooh. You're so annoying. <laughs> we got a refund for that, but we like couldn't use a flower, those flowers. And it it kind of did show actually because certain tables, like the tables, we had to skimp on flowers on the tables a little bit because we just had a whole box that was not usable. So yeah. it still turned out great, but yeah. And thankfully we have a refund for in the future. Right. I'm using that for my first baby shower. I've already determined. Yeah. Oh, oh another gosh. big thing. I remember we got to the reception. So like after our wedding and everything and all the pictures, we get to our reception hall and like we're, I don't know about you, but especially me, I was just thinking of like what could go wrong scheduling wise. We have a lot of speeches. We have games we wanted to do. We have the cake cutting and the dancing. So I was like, oh my gosh, this could go wrong. This could go wrong. And so much to the fact that I didn't, I barely got to eat. Yeah. So Arlie had to get dressed in her Indian outfit in her sari 
and it took like four people to put that on. Right. And so, you know, my dad was bringing us food and we were trying and yeah, tasting like, things here and there, but you're like so stressed that like you couldn't eat and the food was jumping. It was so good. And I was, I remember being so hungry, but like not having time to eat. Yeah. And then like, even when we were sitting at our table while everyone's speaking, my dad, like before it started, he brought us food, but we're not, we're just, our minds are not even there to because think to eat it. Because the speech has just started. So like, you're not going to eat while people are giving speeches. It's just kind of like rude. Like in yeah. a way, like it seems, it feels rude. Like when someone's talking to you, like in front of everybody, everyone's looking at you. Like you're not going to be like, like, you know, down. Well, no, I think food. it was, I think. That's I when it was. He gave it to us in when people no. were getting their food, but we didn't yeah, eat yet. Which because was after this, after, because we had a break, remember in between the speeches? But we had our food during the speeches. Oh, in the yeah, videos, yeah, like there's yeah. our food is there. So yeah, but we wanted to eat, but your mind also is just not thinking about eating. Even while even while the speeches were done, I just wasn't even eating. Mm, I couldn't even right. think straight. We just went straight to like the whole dancing part. My groomsmen were telling me after just how good the food was. I and know, they, and it they sucks. cleaned house on it, and that you know it was really amazing. So I regret not eating all that food there because yeah. that's like your one day. So. The, the I don't even know how I almost forgot about the most like if I could change it if I didn't have to change anything else if I could just change this one thing like what? I'm like gonna cry in laughter thinking about this now we always talk about it now think about it no we can't say that we can't say that Carly why he doesn't watch this and he's not gonna watch this <laughs> Let's be nice about it. Okay. Our, we don't have to say their name. He's yes. not gonna watch this. He doesn't Our, even follow us. I don't on even want to say the word DJ. <laughs> but you have to. What else other word are you gonna say, Matthew? Matthew, it's completely normal. This happens to so many people. Our DJ was a he was a DJ slash MC. And the MC portion was great. He actually, he actually like told us like, hey, if you do this specific game, you're gonna go over time. Like right. he kept us on he schedule. Was he was with great. That, yeah. He was funny. He was could dance. He was great. Right. He was doing the splits. It was crazy. The only issue we had was that he played Remember September or whatever that song is, September <laughs> for ten minutes. Like no, actually. I'm actually quite triggered right now. Like, okay, but don't go crazy. <laughs> I don't go crazy. But let's just say we gave him a list. Let's backtrack a little bit. Let's <laughs> see this if you find yourself in there, your hair is on fire. <laughs> let's backtrack a little bit. Before the wedding. It's so, pretty accurate because you're pretty speedy <laughs> up right now. Before the wedding, we told him about our like first dance. For our first dances with our parents, we were going to do a mashup. a mashup. Like we wanted each to do a mashup of two songs, right? That's completely normal, like, people do that all the time. So, he told us to make the mashup ourselves, which was not like, it was not like a crazy mashup, it was just like, you know like on Spotify, like when you can blend two songs, like it was just like that, it was like a crossfade, it was like nothing crazy. So he was like, oh, like, you're gonna have to do that yourself though and give it to me on a flash drive. And we were like, okay, that's a bit weird, but whatever. Um, then we give it to him, that totally goes fine. It's really when the actual dance floor part started, when I realized we were listening to that song, do you remember? And it was 10 minutes, like 10 minutes had passed and we were listening to the same song or that, no, it's celebrate, oh yeah. my word. I actually do not like listening to those two songs now because of that. And I say that, I'm saying yeah. that like, because it's like, wow, that was a very long time we were listening it was, to It was funny, songs. but at the same time, I feel like it also just made our wedding even funnier and that's kind of like me and Carly's personality like even though we weren't too thrilled about that it just yeah, all my we cousins just like, and stuff were laughing we with were, us we were all in the dance we were laughing oh, so and funny. the funniest part is like all all of our friends were going up to the DJ and saying oh like putting in put requests this song, put this literally song. songs off our list because we gave him a list of songs that we really wanted to be played um and they were going up to him and saying, play this song, play this song. And he was like, no, I'm I'm going by what's on the list or something. And me and Matthew were laughing because we were like, we haven't heard a single song of our list. So and what made us laugh at the end is we realized that he was playing the songs of our list. He was just playing it while we were all eating. Yeah. And so what we had had in mind was that they would be played during the dance floor part. But it's right. It's just a, a great case. It's of, a funny, it's like something we joke about to this day. So like, we funny. think about it sometimes. Like, we're just from like, my friends or celebrate. remember, and like, anytime we're like, remember. Yeah, or we say, like, <laughs> we somebody plays celebrate or somebody says September, like, I'm immediately triggered. Like, yeah, immediately. 
I'm not triggered. I not just, triggered. Like, I immediately just, like, just started laughing. Because I'm like, like, is that even real? Like, did that actually happen? To, um, it's funny because, like, of course it would happen to us. Because, like, all the funniest things, like, I not know. bad, but, like, all the funniest things like, happen to us. It's just, like, so hilarious. Yeah, and that also makes me... What did you just say? Did I not say hilarious? <laughs> it makes it so hilarious. <laughs> okay, another thing is use the bathroom before your reception starts. Please don't even play yourself. Just use the bathroom mm -hmm. or don't drink any water. Matthew, I didn't use the bathroom before the reception starts, before I put that sorry on. Do you remember? I don't remember. I don't actually even remember using actually, the Actually, no, he doesn't all. remember because this is when Matthew was in his little group with his his groomsmen and they were all dancing in a circle. Wait, before the dancing started? No, when the dancing started, when you guys were in a circle like, hoi, 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 like all like in a circle. I was trying, I, I tapped this man, I'm like, I gotta go use the bathroom. This man, nowhere to be found. So I was like, I <laughs> ran to the bathroom. I had no shoes on. That's how bad I had to pee. I had literally no shoes on. Like, it's nasty to say now because I went into the bathroom with no shoes, but the bathroom was very clean. Like, they clean yeah. it like very very thoroughly but still like why go in the bathroom with no shoes on anyways i went into the bathroom with no shoes on that's how bad i had to pee and i'm like i first of all my sorry was pinned on yeah and so like i was like i don't want to mess this up like i'm like freaking out though i literally almost started to pee on myself like almost i didn't actually do that but i almost started to pee on myself that's how bad i had to be because i couldn't figure out how like i mean how am i gonna look this up <laughs> and, and not mess it up because you already know the dance floor be oh my gosh you'd be sweaty sometimes, sometimes it starts kicking on the <laughs> dance floor because <laughs> you said how thick of a chair you were wearing long sleeves and long pants though so I was you were probably wait the only thing that hurt was my feet because like of those dang elf shoes those I, I had pointy Indian shoes. Those I have things. To, I need to put a snipper right The here. way those things crunch your feet <laughs> at the top, as if all your toes are the same size. I took my shoes off. I was not wearing those shoes. I really. wore my shoes the entire night, and they. I felt when we got back to like our hotel, I felt my feet in so much pain. <laughs> I was like, bro. I think there are certain people that, you know, because we were young and we couldn't afford certain things, we only invited certain people to our ceremony. Yeah. And then certain people to our reception. Like mostly everyone was at our ceremony because that's free. Mm -hmm. but the receptions we have to pay. So we, not everyone that was at the ceremony could come to the reception. I think looking back on it, there's like one or two families. I just was like, man, like I should have invited them to come right. like in general. Like, and I totally, it just, cause you're planning and you want it to be affordable and everything. You're not thinking and that was one thing I always regret. It was just like, obviously I'm not gonna say who they are, but there was like two families. One family was at my ceremony and they didn't come to the reception and I totally regret that. And then one family I just forgot to invite completely. Right. Just totally, I just completely forgot. Right. But that's like, there's so much to do when you're planning a wedding. Like some things go over your head and it's okay to, like don't beat yourself down if you're like in our spot too, because we forgot a lot of things also, but. Yeah. Like, we can't go back in time. But that and is something, like, out of everything hard. on that day, that's the one thing I regret so right. much. Yeah, and then another thing that kind of, like, in terms of, like, our party and, like, who was there, uh, the last thing that, like, we regret is not having, like, an usher or, like, somebody at the reception yeah. door. And, like, not having, like... This is a funny... Not having, thing. like, on our, on our, like, um, what do you call those, invitations, like, something where you say, like, okay, you are, like, like well, almost like a ticket. The not a weird ticket. thing is, basically, there are some people that actually showed up at our reception that were not that were not invited and i was like whoa and i wasn't being like petty or anything but yeah. i was just like i remember we were sitting at the table and i was just me and matthew were like because we how took did they get here? we took pictures with like every table and what else is crazy is that when you walked in there were tables and your name was yeah. under the table and that person's name or those people those name people's names were not, were not um, under any table and they just sat somewhere and then like i was just like oh. and the reason why this is bad we're not being like oh you're not invited like it's not like that the reason why this is bad is because we had to pay for each person that was there yeah like it was a buffet style but it was buffet based off of how many people were at the were eating and then what's crazy is we got charged more than we knew right. because uh -huh. and now we realize it's because people that we weren't didn't know invited. were coming weren't invited yeah that's a better way to put it. Mm -hmm. People that weren't invited actually came. And right. that's huge. Like, you know, because like you said, it's not like there's a set. It's like per person that they see, they count. Yeah. And then for and somebody else who's just like, oh, well, it doesn't matter. It's a couple people like, well, a couple hundred dollars for us. That's a like, that's that was a lot because oh, yeah. each person was accounted for money wise. So we accounted for each person that was going to be there. They know you guys know weddings are expensive. Yeah, everybody weddings knows, are, that. Everybody yeah. knows that weddings are expensive. So like, just don't be that person. Don't invite yourself if you're not. Right. That yeah, like I, I just felt like that was like normal. Imagine going to a wedding and literally not seeing your name on the thing, yeah. even like as plus one, because you know some people have like. I would at least one. even ask like someone's parent or something like that. Like like obviously, so like 
as you can see, Carly's very passionate about like a lot of these things. But for me, not a lot of things like can really bother me. But right. that honestly, I kind of was like, man, Dang. like, you know, like you knew specifically on your card, like if you were invited to just the ceremony or both. Mm -hmm. And you still came. That's really what it was. You came, ate, and loved. Yeah. We lucked out because the place we went to, like, they gave us a nice discount. But you go to other places, I feel it's like three hundred dollars a plate. Like they're yeah. not like anybody else. In. And what? It's not so. that it's exclusive, but it is because you're paying for it. You know what I yeah. mean? Like it's it's not exclusive. Like oh, we want you, we don't want you. It's yeah. not like that. It's, it's just, just like if somebody's paying for it. And then like the other big thing is like you know, you don't want to feel pressured into having people there that. You know what I'm saying? Like you didn't you, originally plan. Yeah, either, so yeah. it's like you want people at your reception, especially that's like really close to you. And right. you know, our reception was not huge. It was very it was intimate. Like intimate. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. To wrap this up, our reception and our wedding were amazing. Yeah, we loved everything. Everything There's nothing like, that we would change. If I we go could, back actually. and I think about that day so much, and just the videography and the photography was amazing. Yeah. And like being able. Wait, to actually, look really at that. quickly before we end it, can you just show them our book? We worked with these people called Austria Photo. Yeah. We have to shout them out because we're showing the book, of yeah. course. But this look is look at this our massive, book. massive book. This is huge because we got married young and like we had a budget and like this was not even something that and we and the people even we worked we with were just so generous and so loving. So let's show like a couple pages. Like what? And the it pages was are soft. Like, like we soft. haven't actually. It's so. Cool I haven't opened to see. this in a while. And like some of the things in here are like you can feel them. So this one's one of Carly's favorites. I love that here. one. It's soft. And then Matthew's favorite is this picture. This is my favorite photo that they took. It is an amazing We literally photo. look like we're in an Indian movie. Again, there's of course things that you can always be critical of, but at there's the end so of the day, our things, wedding yeah. was exactly the way God wanted it to be. Mm -hmm. The exact way that God wanted it to and be. And everybody which is why that was, was there was meant to be there. Yeah, even the people that came. <laughs> randomly. <laughs> randomly. But, but yeah, we love you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. We will see you next Friday. Love you guys. See ya.